suppose you have a corpus with the following sentences I am a human I am not a stone I live in Japan suppose you have this corpus now I need to calculate the probability of a sentence I am a human using bigram okay suppose we're considering bigram here so how we can do this say this is a sequence of words I am a human which is represented by W now if I want to find the probability of W by chain rule what it says is PW equals PW1 PW2 given W1 PW3 given W1 W2 PW4 given W3 W2 W1 and so on this a chain rule what Markov assumption says is that the future behavior of a dynamic system depends on its recent history and not the entire history so if I want to compute the probability of human uh, I don't need uh, need to consider the complete sentence I am a uh, or the complete uh, history of I am uh, basically uh, okay I'll write this in another way so the probability of human given I am a uh, is basically equal to probability of human given its previous word which is a uh. now using that same Markov assumption we can compute the uh, probability of a sequence I am a human given our corpus here so probability of I am a human can be computed using probability of I considering the beginning of sentence into probability of M considering I into probability of a considering M and into probability of human considering a. if I want to compute the probability of of a given B what I can do is I can count the number of occurrences of B and A together divided by the count of number of occurrences of B so we can use this formula and then we can compute uh, these individual probabilities and then compute the probability of the whole sequence as a whole so for this one we will need our corpus will need the need uh, the help of our corpus here so we'll first start with uh, probability of i given s so which is basically probability of count of si by count of s into count of i m divided by count of i into count of m a divided by count of m into count of a human divided by count of a so now we go back to our corpus and see how many times uh, the starting sequence and i comes together let's see so starting sequence and I comes comes together three times uh, okay so three divided by the, uh, the total number of count of starting sequences here it is uh, also three I can write three by three for the first probability uh, the count of the sequence I am will go back and see that I am occurs two type two times here so which is two and the and the count of I in the corpus is 3 so 3 into count of m a count of m a is just one time and then count of m is 2 so this is going to be 1 by 2 into 
count of a human divided by count of a. So a human occurs one time and then the count of a occurs two times. So this is again one by two. So the total probability of the sentence I am a human can be calculated as one into two by three into one by four. This will be one by six here which can also be written at 0 0.125 okay so <clears throat> we'll consider another sentence here uh, let's calculate the probability of I am human so uh, if I expand this I can write probability of I given starting sequence into probability of M given I into probability of human given m so uh, this can further be elaborated as count of s i given count of s into count of i m given count of i into count of m human given count of m so uh, i already have the value for this one which is 3 by 3 as i've calculated earlier so this is going to be 3 by 3 into uh, count of i m and i is 2 by 3 i've already calculated that earlier too into count of m human and m let's see what is the count of m human so the count of m human here seems to be zero while the count of m is 2 so this will be 0 by 2 and then the final result we get is 0 but uh, if we look at our corpus uh, we can easily say that uh, the sentence I am human or the probability of sentence I am human cannot be 0 or should not be 0 because there is a similar sentence with one additional word a uh, here we need to address such kind of issues now for now for addressing such kind of issues there are techniques which are called smoothing techniques and we're going to be talking about one such smoothing technique here which is laplace smoothing laplace smoothing also called as add one smoothing or sometimes referred to as add n smoothing now uh, what does laplace smoothing do it basically prevents such zero probability occurrences now how does it do that let's see uh, if i need to calculate a probability of a given b uh, where the probability value comes to zero uh, i can write count of sequence of ba plus one if i'm doing add one smoothing divided by count of b plus v where v is my vocab length okay so this is what add one smoothing is or laplace smoothing is uh, if if we are considering add n smoothing then it will easily be count of b a plus n divided by count of b plus v so this is what add n smoothing is and this is what add one smoothing is uh, we'll calculate the probability of i am human using add one smoothing here okay so add one smoothing probability of i am human so this is probability of i given s into probability of m given i into probability of human given m uh, for this one what i should do is probability of s i plus one divided by count of s sorry just count of s i plus v into count of i m plus one divided by count of i plus v 
into count of m human plus 1 divided by count of m plus v. We'll need to calculate the value of v here, which is, uh, as I said earlier, is our vocab length. So what vocab length means is, uh, vocab length is the number of unique words or tokens, words in our corpus. So if we go up and then look at our corpus, our corpus, this is a unique token, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now that has already occurred. This has already occurred. This is already occurred. Seven, eight, and then that has already occurred. This has already occurred. Nine, 10, and 11. So our vocab length V here is 11. So we'll use the same value in calculating our probability here. Yes, so equals to, this is going to be, uh, we've already computed this as three by three, but this is going to be three, by, three plus one divided by three plus 11 into count of I am and I, I already have this two by three. Now this is also going to be two plus one divided by three plus 11 into now this I got zero divided by two here. So this is going to be zero plus one divided by two plus 11. Now our net result is four by 14 into three by 14 into 1 by 13. Now if we uh, compute this, we'll get value somewhere close to 0 0.0047 or something like that. So uh, the, the probability after uh, Laplace smoothing, uh, it's not exactly 0, but uh, it has some value of probability uh, it, instead of getting the probability value of zero. So this is one kind of smoothing that we can do. We can also do this uh, for trigrams or four grams or five grams if you want to. So if you don't understand this or if you have any questions, do comment down below and I'll try to help you out. I'll see you in the next video.